respect Ben Affleck to not only write, direct, but also to star. That's the best barbecue that I've had since I left the States. See that beautiful blonde staring out the window? That's my wife, Jillian. She's been through an awful lot the last few years. You have to let them know I didn't mean for it to happen. Well, I'm slicing my partner, start killing a few dozen homeless people. Which one? Take your pick. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Siddharth Talks Film. This week we're going to review the recently released 10 Cloverfield Lane and recommend the film of the week. So let's get right to the review. The spiritual successor to the 2008 film Cloverfield, 10 Cloverfield Lane, directed by Dan Trachenberg, tells the story of a young woman played by Marie Elizabeth Winstead, who after getting involved in a car accident is held in the storage space by two men who tell her that the world has been affected by a disastrous event. This film is packed with plenty of edge of your seat moments, a tense soundscape, and strong performances from its minimal cast, which gives 10 Cloverfield Lane a big Sid seal of approval. So we're just about wrapped up. A film you guys have to check out this week is the 2005 space western, Serenity, the follow-up to the cult TV show Firefly, brought to you by Joss Whedon. Check it out for its fun and witty characters and its incredible action sequences. Hope you guys like it. So that's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for watching and join me next week for more Siddhar Talks Film. This is the only way I can drown him out. Careful, it's hot. Sorry? Must you do that now? Fuck! It's alright. It was a wedding gift from my parents. You said we should use them. Yeah, as plant pots. It's been ruined. That's all right. We can fix this. Just leave it. You make it worse. London. eventually. Right. Yeah, so uh, we've come far today. I'll go on. You know. That's uh, Steve up there. Steve? Steve? No, no, he's uh, busy working. He's busy working. Right. Come on through. Uh, it's a big place. Oh, it is. Yes, yes, yes. We'll get you to your point where around eventually. Yeah. Come into my office. Find the beer. The powerhouse of the operation. Right. Uh, oh, there we go. This is my office. So just uh, keep an eye on those for me for a second, will you? All right. So, so, uh, so Brian, uh, it is. It is Brian, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So, uh, Brian, uh, tell me, what's a man like you doing interviewing for a job like this? Oh. Well, to be honest, uh... Ah, oh, sorry.
Come here, Brian. No, you wouldn't mind just uh, turning that down for me, would you? Very good, man. Good man. Excellent. You'll have one of those bloody things when you start as well, I'm afraid, unfortunately, but uh, <laughs> you won't be saying that after a little while, I can tell you. Now, Brian, I know this isn't your normal working environment, but uh, we'll give you a, a week's trial. How does that sound to you? That's great, thank you. <laughs> Don't thank me just yet, Brian. After all, this place might drive you insane and have you flinging yourself off the roof and killing yourself. <laughs> and you wouldn't be thanking me then. Uh, I guess not. Unfortunately, it's a rather sort of unsociable hours. Uh, the graveyard shift, we like to call it. Or, uh, or vampire. Or, uh, well, whatever tickles your pickle, actually. Uh, Whatever tickles your pickle, Brian. Now, uh, Brian, feel free to make yourself a cup of coffee in the staff room, and uh, I know it's a little bit run down, but... We like to call it home. I can't believe he's going with the lady when he's taking it. Jill, do you want a coffee? Yeah, you can make it next time. <laughs> and so I was thinking, tomorrow you've got a big gap in your schedule. Maybe we can do the brief about the pitch then. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we want to be prepped for this one. Yeah, so lunch time, so we go to the cafe. Have you decided what you're wearing for the pitch in person? No. Well, we're going to need you looking. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just sharp for the for the presentation. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, good. <laughs> Look, it's an important yeah. one. This is yeah, a big yeah. deal for the company, you know. <laughs> Here you go. Oh shit! Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, it's fine. Here, we're on under tile. I'm fine. Two cakes. Otherwise, it would burn. Sorry. That's right. It's in one day. Oh, it, it was my fault, that's fine. Alright. Mmm. Mm. Little coffee though, you can make it more often. It's good stuff, you're on Unfortunately, it's a rather sort of unsociable hours. Uh, the graveyard shift, we like to call it, or a vampire. <laughs> All your little mind games. He didn't even close the door. What's the point in having a mobile if you never answer it? You lose my number or what? No. Saved under dickhead. What is wrong with you? Do you always just show up like this? Are you on something? Is there any way to treat me? What do you want? 
Money again, no doubt. I don't expect you to believe me, but I'm setting up a business here. I've got a lot of people keen to join me. I guess that will be cosy then. You might even be able to make a little money for yourself. Do you think I would have come all this way if I was happy doing that? I just need a place to crash. What happened to your face? They're still after you, aren't they? Let's go sort your face out. If you've got a boyfriend or whatever, it's cool. You just crash on the sofa. Why are you staying with your skank girlfriend, Twinkle? Or whatever the fuck her name is. You mean Twiggler? We haven't spoken in ages. Nice. Thank you for the taste. We are back in Soho, and we're at a little place called Smack Lobster Roll. For the chowder, we're serving in that pot with 30 grams of uh, lobster meat, and that's the uh, lobster bisque, lobster chowder with cooked vegetables, uh, onion, celery, potato, right, uh, bechamel, and some seasoning. You guys hear that? Right. It's very rich. Very nice. Popular. Pretty cool. Well, I tell you, this is, this is going to be a really good episode. I know this one is. Nice. And give it a taste. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, here we go. Taxi! Like I said, lobster is one of my favorites. I love seafood. And uh, so let's see what we have. I think, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna order just a little bit of everything uh, on the menu uh, so you guys can enjoy it. You ready? So here we go. Yes, hello. Hey, how are you? I'm very well. <laughs> I'm well, thank you. Beautiful weather today. Oh, it's great weather, isn't it? <laughs> yes, so you came to a proper lobster roll place. Well, yeah. Soho, London. Uh, that's our menu. This is the menu? Yes, okay. that's the menu. Much easier for the customer. Okay, let's, let's check out this menu. Nicely done. Okay, so you know what? I, like I said, I really love lobster. Yeah, okay. So can we try... Um, how about the... Looks like the Mexican? Mexican? That's yeah. the spicy that's version. That's spicy? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, as I said, we have five options. Uh, classic BLLT, California, Mexican, and Seven Samurai. On the side, we're serving lobster chowder. That's yes. the soup. Very nice and rich with chunks of lobster meat. Right, right, right. And also two types of lobster salad. So, that's lobster avocado salad. Okay. With salad leaves, cucumber, uh, guacamole, house dressing, red on that. Avocado. Right. See, this week, I'm having a salad. <laughs> Summer okay. is coming. Yes, right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so as soon as we get our food, we're going to sit down, and you guys, of course, are welcome to, to, to sit down and enjoy it with us. All righty? See you in a bit. All righty, guys. So what did I say? This was going to be a great episode. And we got to go back in the kitchen, and we watched our food being made. So I don't even know where to start. But I think I am going to start with the, the seven samurai. And just so you know, this is what the this is what the seven samurai looks like. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Looks pretty good. So let's start with this. Let's have a bite of this. Whoa. The 
there's something in there that's kind of spicy. So, Smack. Now, just in case you didn't know, Smack, that is the name of the boats that actually catch the lobster. So now, let's try the BLLT. Wow, man, I love what I do. We have three more things to try. So, tell you what, we're gonna take a little break and then we'll come back back and then we'll finish up. Alrighty guys, we've come to the end and I saved the best for last. This is my avocado lobster salad and it looks really good. So, tell you what, I hope you guys, oh, I wanna say, I wanna say thank you to Darius for giving us a tour of the kitchen. I hope you guys really enjoy going back there in the kitchen with us. I know we had a good time. Um, yeah, so, uh, I'm going to have a bite of this, uh, but until next week, you guys have a good weekend, and we'll see you later. All ready? Bye-bye. Let's try the lobster chowder. Whew. The Mexican is making a brother sweat. Mmm. Oh, Sid, you're going to have to try this. This is really good. Would you guys like to try some of this? What is it? It's uh, lobster chowder. <laughs> and just in case, I'm, I'm, I'm busy messing with other people. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we have come to an end and I want to thank you Darius for everything that you've done for us. It was really great, amazing food. Guys, it was really a pleasure for us. Really nice experience, lots of fun. So if you're gonna be around, you can pop in every every time. Every time. All right. So guys, you hear that? Now, if you're ever here in Soho and you want to have some great lobster, stop by. And they'll take care of you. Alrighty. Thank you guys. We'll see you next week. See you bye. next week. All right. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> I hope you guys really. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. Sid, did you enjoy this one? Sid's giving it a big. Sid's seal of approval and two thumbs up. <laughs>
come on, this is stupid, yeah? So now how childish you be, locking yourself in the bathroom. Don't you feel ridiculous in there? I feel ridiculous out here talking to a door. Just open a door. Fred Charlie, our oh, good boy. Very tired, sweetheart. Go to sleep, okay? Okay. He's watching you, okay? He's watching you. Who are you? Who are you, story? Be right out. Scooter. You're right. Look at this. <laughs> I'm pretty. Yeah, really. Yes. Yeah. Of course. <sighs> oh. Yeah, it was really good. You sure? Yeah. You should be. Yeah, of, of course. I, I don't have to. I don't have to go out if you don't want me to. 
Um, her face is. You want to enjoy yourself, bro. Okay. I've got a dash. Get out. Dylan, please. Dylan, you're hurting me. Dylan, please. Dylan. Come on. Dylan, I promise. Come on. Dylan. Pathetic. It's no wonder your mother did what she did to you. Correct. Look at you. The big man you are. Do you know what? I can't believe I stayed with you so long. Now one thing. One thing I asked for. You couldn't even do that, could you? Well, if I can't do anything right, then why did you just leave? You know what? This is all your fault anyway. Because if you weren't so barren in the first place, we wouldn't be having these problems, would we? Stay if you want. It's okay. You go and enjoy yourself, okay? I'll see you in the morning. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. Can I have to go? Yeah. See you tomorrow.